I've always been afraid to show myself, to show my, my real talent, my, my skills, because I was always afraid of, of people, what they would say. You know, I can remember as a kid being really shy and, and afraid to, to speak. I, even, I used to stutter a lot, and that impacted how I communicated with people whether I communicated with people, whether I even spoke up for myself. So many years I didn't speak up for myself and even when I got married my ex-husband used to beat me and because I didn't speak up and tell anybody that that's what was going on because I was ashamed. I was ashamed of what was happening to me. I was ashamed of what was going on, what I was allowing this man to do to me, how he was taking from me. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to tell. And I sure didn't want nobody to make fun of me because I didn't know how to handle it. I was so fragile then. But now I'm better. I I'm better. I think life has a way of putting you through tests, through trials, so that it can strengthen you. I mean, we may think at the time that it is the worst thing in the world, but it really isn't. Uh, but we don't know that until after we come through it. But the tests and the trials that we go through in life are the things that are going to make us. They are the things that create the moral fiber that lies within us. And that fiber has to be strengthened just like a muscle. So I'm not saying go through a bunch of crap just to go through it. I'm certainly not saying that. I'm certainly not saying for you to like the bad stuff that happens to you either. But what I am saying, that everything that we experience, that we go through, is for a reason. I know it sounds trite, and it's something that you've probably heard a million times over and over, but everything we go through, it strengthens us. My son used to say, if it don't kill you, it sure going to make you stronger. Just a cute little... Just a tip today from Tisa. Hey, part two, a cup of Tisa. Have a good day.